It doesn't even have a uh, an icon for it. But I'm pivoting over to Alone in the Dark. It kind of it's it's known mostly for being, I think, the first game that had you know a fixed perspective 3D camera. Oops, I don't want to see that. We don't want to do that just yet. But a fixed perspective 3D camera and like tank control character in a spooky house setting. So this is the precursor and maybe inspiration for Resident Evil. That's kind of its legacy. Um, oh yeah, and we get to pick two between two protagonists. Um, before I get too much farther into this, uh, let's see if I can get the game manual open. Because this is one of those games you really need to read. You need to RTFM. Oh, here we go. You can choose Emily Hartwood or Edward Carnby. Um, Carnby is the one that would persist as the main character in sequels, I think. But we can play as Emily Hartwood, so I think I'm going to try that. I, I'm, I'm remembering, because I've tried playing Alone in the Dark previously, and I remember this combat system being very strange. So here we go. The, the, I like the, the executable. You can't see it on the stream because I'm not including it here, but the executable title is In Dark, because they, they had to be short titles. I'm going to go with Emily, Emily Hartwood. The attorney's letter came as a deep shock oh. to me. There's dialogue, My I Uncle forgot. Jeremy had died by his own hand. The coroner's report was unequivocal. He hanged himself in the loft. My lord. Initial surprise and distress passed. I considered the news. It seemed clear that Dersetto had exercised a thoroughly morbid influence on my uncle's mind. That creaking old mansion with its unusual tales, its secret library door, the ancient upstairs clock, all those occult books that my uncle could not resist reading in spite of his fragile nerves. Fate had pointed its finger. The Seto had trapped its prey. Mr. McCarthy, the family lawyer, suggested selling the old house. I immediately opposed the idea. Even though you just described how horrifying and creepy it is. My duty is clear. I must go to De Seto. I tremble at the thought of those. Didn't she say Dorsito before? Those brooding portraits. Yet I am convinced that Uncle Jeremy left a note, a letter of some kind, explaining his fateful decision. I might have to I modify my his voice settings. Saying, "Look at the piano, Emily. Look harder." Look at Maybe the piano. The secret drawer will yield up an explanation. I have the feeling things will not be so simple. Life is a mystery containing more mysteries. Jeremy taught me oh, that. Something's much. going on with Mike. Now is the time to confront the mysteries. Or maybe it's just getting Dersetto annoyed that I'm not talking for him. Waiting much. for me. I pray that my fear is nothing Dersetto. more than the fruit of my imagination. Nothing will ever persuade me that my uncle was insane. But why did he? According to the police report, block the loft window with the old wardrobe. Yeah, you should be open to mental illness as a problem. Don't just don't just write it off and say that nothing will convince you. That's a little that's a little absolute. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so this background is entirely 2D, obviously, but we've got some 3D graphics from 1992. Look at that. There it is. Emily Hartwood running, driving her car to see her uncle. And there's a frog. She almost ran over that frog. Should be more careful, Emily. Um, yeah, look at that. That's some old, that's some classic pixel art right there. And a 3D, a old, old style 3D model walking up to it. Look at that. 
Wow. Um, oh, creepy hands. And a wolf's howl. It's, it's uh, already super spooky. Yeah, and this music. She, uh, looks pretty goofy. To say the least. Like, a, almost like a Muppet character. I was thinking about some other games, and, uh, oof, that is a rough model. It adds to the horror, I think. The horror element is only strengthened by, um, it's only strengthened by how horrifying the characters are. Oh, here we are. So, as soon as we got here, I think I'm pretty sure the clock is ticking. We found an oil lamp. Okay, let's, uh, take it. Uh, what is this? Just a rocking horse. Oop. I think I want to run everywhere. I don't know if there's any reason not to. But, also... Oh, right, right, right. Uh, before I forget, something likes to come out of... Something likes to come out of this uh, trap door. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, come on. Uh, actions. We're gonna push. Oh, there we go. I forgot. You have to select, like, your current... Like, the action that you will perform naturally when you press... When you press the space bar. Uh, so I've gotta go back to that, and I've gotta change it to open search. Oh, that's right, and you have to hold it down. I found a rifle. Cool. So, let's use the rifle. Now, now I've got a rifle in case any horrible monsters come get me. Uh oh The music has changed. Oh, there it is. Crap. Okay, a monster's coming to get me. Look at how horrible and kind of goofy it is. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. So we use. Oh, it's not. What? Do I have to reload it? You have no ammunition. Crap. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh man, I should have moved to the. I should have followed the other advice, which was to move the thing in front of the window. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, actions, fight. We can still fight. Kick. Quick. Quick. I'm mashing. I'm mashing all the keys. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Okay, I punched. And I kick. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, let's move forward long enough to kick. Oh. Oh, I think I got it a little bit. Oh, yeah, I did kick it a little bit. You feel weak? Oh crap, that's bad news. Oh no, I'm dead. Ah. Uh. Wow. So I screwed that up. And then uh, we get this really cryptic game over screen. Where some kind of jester zombie is dragging us away. Well. That didn't go so well, did it? Uh... The end. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's try again. Whoa! What is this? What is that all about? All these horrible monsters are out. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do Emily again, but I'm gonna. I, we can skip through no. all this. Now, I think we can skip this too. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I should be doing. Oh, I'm, I'm moving this stool over here too. We also have these kind of awkward transitions where it takes a bit of time to actually move through the area. Oh, I guess 20 mu that must be our health, right? 20. Okay, let's push. Come on, push. There we are. I'm gonna push. You know, she said, why did he push the cabinet in front of the window? So I'm gonna do just that. 
And I'm also going to push, for now, I'm going to push the crate on top of the trapdoor, because I remember... I remember a monster coming out of the trapdoor. Oops. Uh, interestingly enough, you can actually, unlike in Resident Evil games, you can actually push... You don't have to push in cardinal directions, or even in the direction, like, based on which side of the object that you're facing. Like, you can, you can turn direction. There's gotta be something. Nothing here, nothing here. Huh. Yeah, there goes the trapdoor. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Here. Am I missing something? Here we go. Uh, oh. Emily is... It's hard to tell what, what direction Emily's facing. Oh, can we not? I have no oil. So I have an oil lamp with no oil. I feel like there's something up with this carpet. But there's nothing. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of funny. Whenever you, when you do, uh, when you hold the space bar down to search, she kind of creeps forward. Like, do, 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 do. Doing a little dance. And of course we can see Emily's face. Oh, what's this? There's a stick of some kind. Bow? Okay, I'll take the bow. No, nothing. Uh, let's see, there's like rope and bottles and stuff up here. What's this? Got an oil can. Oh, perfect. This And then, like, light the candle at all? No? Okay. Guess not. I guess the lantern is only going to be used for dark areas. There you go. It's hard to get the run to work, I notice. Um, it would be nice to find some bullets or a sword or something. Especially with all that howling. Wait, how do I... Oh, wait, this is a door. I was like, how do I get out of here? I thought that was a, like a balcony overlooking a very brown room. And here... Oh, I found a key. It wouldn't happen to be the key for the chest, would it? Also, I'm going to put the, this in front of the door in case that does anything. Oh, uh, nope, the chair is just stuck to me. Never mind. It's locked. Uh, rifle. Oh no, the key's here. Here we go. Use. Oh, there we go. An old cavalry saber. Perfect. I was just asking for a sword, and now we have one. Oh my goodness. Uh... Use it. Yeah, take that. Swords make a slapping sound when you hit somebody. Oh, she's, it, it hit me anyway. Oh, crap. What the heck? I broke it. Um. Uh, that's not good. Wait, the rifle says I have four shots, but... Find a saber. Okay, great. There, did I get him? I did. Oof, that was close. Just gonna go, you know, do some sneaky investigating. Nothing important. Really? Why do they have all these dressers that can't open them? Oh my gosh. There's somebody. There's another. There's another monster. Okay. Fire. What? Fire. There we go. I have to. You have to hold either up or down to actually fire a gun. All right. Uh, let's check this other room I was in. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Quick. Uh. I've got one shot left with the rifle. Okay. 
That was it. That was my one shot. And this nasty fellow. What if I throw it? That was a bad idea. I found the broken saber. Okay, great. Okay. Oh no. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, I should run. Oh, what? Why did she turn so far? Oh my! What the heck is that? Ah, get get out of here! Oh my god. Uh, I gotta use the first aid case. Found a flask. Okay. Uh, eat, dr eat, eat slash drink the flask. Oh, wow. You feel better. Cool. I wonder if I could have... Oh my gosh, I can't leave, can I? Uh... Okay... This is a spooky game already. Although, weirdly, unlike a Re Resident Evil, it feels like I have to kill any monsters that turn up on a vase. Okay, let's take it. Uh-oh. The uh, window is rendering on top of good old Emily. I have to have a walkthrough handy because uh, this game is wonky, to say the least. Oh, here we go. Let's, uh, let's save. Uh, Emily might be stuck. But just because the stream is almost over, let's have a little fun and see what these demons are about. Oh, wow. It's doing, like, all sorts of crazy attacks. Put up your dukes. Put up your dukes, demon. Oh, I see. It won't move from the spot, but it will try to kill me if I get too close. Well, there's only one way to end this stream. 